Ladies and gentlemen, good morning, everyone. Let me tell you welcome from Fiorano. We are right in the heart of the Ferrari, Scuderia Ferrari. Now, we are very close to the racing track. And then we are going to present you with the new single seater. Now, you know that we have a very bad weather here. So uh, we were, uh, you know, in the impossibility of organizing the event the way we wanted. But of course, uh, we couldn't say no to all of the fans just waiting for this very important moment in time. So we do have an internet connection so that we can reveal and unveil our new single seater. So that we have plenty of protagonists telling us what to expect for the forthcoming season. Now, first of all the name of the new car F2012. So we will be talking about F2012. We have team principal Stefano Domenicali. Good morning Stefano. Well good morning everyone. Now it's uh, very well good morning. It's a very special good morning everywhere because uh, uh, of this you know very special you know snow conditions. Anyway ice cold and snow do not change the key value which is represented by this presentation here today here in Maranello but also for all of the fans and supporters, I know that there's plenty of you around the world with an internet connection. Now, this is a special day for us. Uh, we know we are part of a unique reality and company. We take our inspiration from our history and our past and all of our track records. So we do have the uh, great possibility to uh, feel so special this morning. Once again, um, we know that the future of this company depends on what we do here, uh, well, every single day. So, well, once again, we do are lucky. I mean, we, we feel we are lucky to work here because, I mean, um, apart from all of the results and outcomes that we managed to get as a company, I think that the key thing today is to see that many, many, uh, well, companies, I mean, you know, world-class top companies around the world, so they still, you know, keep working with us. Of course, I'm talking about Philip Morris. Now, Philip Morris uh, is, uh, you know, uh, an incredible partner, uh, one of the number one partners. I mean, we share the plenty of challenges with them. Um, it's also a sort of a teammate uh, and I know we can always rely on Philip Morris so once again very special weather conditions today but anyway uh, all of our men are here and I would like to thank everyone here for all of the efforts deployed and um, I also have to thank Shell now um, we take up sport challenges and Shell does the same in terms of you know technical challenges with new products and new technologies they also refer to Kaspersky they have decided to you know keep their investment uh, with us and together with our cooperation and of course I cannot forget many other partners for example Acer and you know many other realities and companies uh, for example MD that you can see I mean here on our car together with all of our suppliers of course and I also would like to uh, well to say welcome to all of the new uh, suppliers M4, Hublot and Old Zeta. Now of course I cannot forget Santander. Now Santander has been partnering with us for a couple of years by now and you know Santander is sharing exactly the same same value is a dynamic, modern, fast-paced company. It's a pleasure for me today to tell you about the extension of the partnership with Santander for three more years, up to 2017. So all of this is uh, making us so proud of uh, working in this company. Now, of course, we want to be responsible for this complex situation, but at the same time, we uh, just, you know, look at the future with a very, uh, well, sort of uh, very nice forecast. I mean, we really want to be positive for the future. We've learned many different lessons in the uh, past and we've taken you know, very important choices at all levels. In many cases, quite difficult, challenging uh, you know, uh, decisions, but I'm sure that you know all of our efforts will be represented by the car that I'm going to uh, unveil in a second. Um, from the technical point of view, we have plenty of novelties and new developments in terms of mechanics, but also in terms of the uh, you know shapes of this uh, our car. Now, uh, what we wanted is a sort of, you know, discontinuity here. So this is something unprecedented, something new, and hopefully we will get the right performances we want to reach. We have only 12 days to test the car, to test all of the features of the car, and to work on the reliability of this jewel. So we also have to test, you know, the new tires that have been offered to us by Pirelli. So we also have our, our drivers here, Felipe and Fernando. Now, Felipe, um, has uh, uh, been uh, uh, for 10 seasons uh, here in the Formula One, always with a Ferrari motor, so always with us. A great, great talent, and I'm sure that this year, after a difficult season, of course, he will be able to show all of his great value for himself, for the Scuderia, so for the whole team.
Now, as for Fernando, of course, I don't have to add anything about, you know, his skills. Uh, I mean, he did an incredible, extraordinary season. So what I would like to highlight is that in the most difficult time last year, he has invested in us. I mean, he has extended his relationship and partnership with us for many years. So to see is a symbol and sign of responsibility that we all feel at all levels. So Fernando, Felipe, the whole team, I'm sure that we will, you know, deploy a great effort and we will be able to take up challenges. I mean, we have to offer you a competitive, high-performing car. I'm sure it will be winning right from the very beginning. So I'm asking, you know, Felipe and Fernando to join me here on stage so that we can, you know, uh, really, uh, well, discover and unveil the car and talk about some of the key contents. Okay, well, uh, Ferrari.com, live on the Internet. This is the new F2012. Okay, here it is in all of its beauty. This is our new single seater. Now, Felipe and uh, you know, Fernando, well, okay, well, we need uh, uh, an impression and an opinion, maybe a judgment uh, from you after the first, you know, tests in Jerez de la Frontera. Now, you wanted a revolutionary aggressive car. What do you think about this? First sight. Well, first of all, good morning, everyone. Well, let me tell you that it really, really looks very aggressive. Now, this is something that, you know, was part of, of, of my dreams. Uh, I know that there's been plenty of brainstorming. I mean, we have exchanged plenty of ideas when it comes to the new car. Um, There's always, you know, something great to do. Uh, we always want to develop new models. We always want to do more. And we are ready to start a different season. So I really, really trust the new team and the new car. I'm sure that the whole season will be a top season from the very beginning and then till the end. Now, I know that it's going to be quite, you know, a challenge once again for the whole team. We will start, uh, you know, in a few days in Jerez de la Frontera in Spain. I'm sure that the championship will be absolutely stunning, very competitive with the red, so our Ferrari uh, at number one. Okay, um, Fernando, this is your third Ferrari. What do you think? Is it aggressive, revolutionary enough, and are you ready for the new season? Yes, well, of course. It's, uh, well, it looks very different different actually from from what we've uh, seen in the past two years you're right it's the third Ferrari it's the third season and you know I'm going to start with the same strength force determination um, I really want to do a uh, great so as Felipe said of course it's gonna be quite competitive and challenging as a season but I really want to see you know red cars always on the podium so always winning so we will start next week in Jerez so we will keep working all together and of course I'm sure we will do great this year. Thank you so much, Felipe. It's going to be quite an important year for you, uh, as Stefano Domenicali said before. Uh, we have plenty of fans and supporters. I mean, they are, you know, listening to us. Uh, what is a key message that you may share with them? So, well, uh, maybe they have, I'm sure, actually, they have high expectations from you. Well, I'd like to say that this is going to be quite an important year for me, uh, for me and the whole team, of course. Now, um, 2012, uh, um, well, this is going to be the uh, the victory year. I mean, we want to fight to get the championship, you know, back. And I'm sure I really believe in, in, you know, in my skills and in this team and in this car. I, I think that, you know, we, I know we have a, a long way to go, but this is the right thing to do for me and our supporters. So once again, we want to see Ferrari winning, uh, well, as often as possible on the podium. So what I have here is a major strength. I really feel, you know, kind of, you know, focused on winning. There's plenty of, you know, positive things and thoughts in my head. I want to start in the right way, and I want to get to the end of the championship in even a better way. Well, thank you so much. Fernando, uh, do you have your personal message, you know, for uh, your supporters now? In the uh, first year with, uh, with us, you were very close to winning the title. And then last year was a little bit more difficult. What are your expectations this year? Well, I really well believe, uh, you know, in, in the skills we have here in Ferrari. We always have to be optimistic. Uh, now we have two months. Uh, we will get ready uh, before the first, uh, you know, uh, well, competition, the first race in Australia. But we have the same objectives and the same target that Felipe mentioned. I mean, we have to fight for this title. We have to get as many points as possible um, at every race. And we want to win. So I'm talking about, you know, the uh, drivers, but also the, uh, you know, constructors or manufacturers, you know, 
championships. I mean, we really, really want to be right at the top of the ranking. There's an intense work ahead, many months around the world. We have to be as consistent and resolute as possible. We have to work with the rest of the team, and I'm sure, I'm really, really sure that uh, we will be able to get great targets, and even if I feel this, you know, big responsibility of driving a Ferrari. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. I also would like to thank Stefano Domenicali. Um, let me tell you that I also would like to thank all the team and all the people who are, you know, just behind the scene, but they do are in the Scuderia Ferrari. So people really working every single day here in Maranello so that the car can be as competitive and performing as possible. So once again, uh, there are plenty, plenty of people that we never see, for example, on the television, but they are probably even more important than the rest. Yes, as I said before, Ferrari is unique, so we have plenty of people working behind the scene in the Formula One, in the Ferrari world, as we say here, because we all have and experience the same passion, which is something making us different, making us definitely unique. That's it with uh, words, so we have to, uh, you know, try the car in Jerez de la Frontera. Hopefully we will be back here at the end of the season with incredible, nice, beautiful feelings. Once again, thank you. Thank you so much. Of course, I'm sure that you would like to use the uh, FF. Maybe, you know, we have too much snow here today. Uh, maybe we need an FF, you know, a special Ferrari, the only one surviving in the thick snow we have today here in Northern Italy. Once again, thank you so much to the three protagonists of Ferrari, but they do represent the whole Ferrari world. Now, this is, you know, F2012. Uh, let's take advantage of, uh, you know, all of the um, new details of the car, something different, something, you know, um, cutting edge. I'm sure it will offer us plenty of new feelings and great positive sensations. Of course, uh, um, I also have a message from our CEO, our president. So once again, he didn't make it here this morning because of the thick snow, but there's a video message. This is Luca Di Montes. Well, I know this is sort of a special presentation, you know, uh, because of the snow, but I'm sure that this will bring us luck. Uh, I remember the Mr. Ferrari, you know, uh, he was, uh, I mean, he told me that uh, the day he was born, it was a very very, very snowy day, so his mother uh, find it, you know, impossible to go to the municipal authorities to, uh, well, to tell everyone about his birth. So uh, I know that there's a one-day difference on his, you know, identity card in terms of his birth date just because of the snow. So. It is a coincidence, but it's also uh, something which is very important. I mean, Mr. Ferrari had an extraordinary life, and he created an extraordinary car. Now, this day is a very special day. Everyone here wants to go back to the top level. We want to win. We want to have, you know, the right conditions we had in the past. We don't want to, you know, just, you know, miss to lose the, uh, you know, the, the uh, World Championship a couple of years ago, just, you know, at the very last race. So we just want to do great. And we have all of the ingredients for a perfect recipe. Now, Stefano Domenicali has been working with the whole team so hard and so much in, you know, getting the car ready, in getting the team ready, in improving the whole organization of the company with just minor changes. Um, you know, these changes anyway are quite important and this gives us the possibility to have a highly competitive team without any deep revolution. So once again, uh, he has believed and still believing in top skilled, high skilled, you know, uh, responsible people. So they really wanted to do. Um, now, Alonso did an extraordinary championship, and uh, we are sure, he is sure, he can do the same thing this year. So, we just want to have the right conditions, I mean, offering him a highly competitive car. And uh, we also wanted to continue, you know, all of these efforts uh, during the week, so with the whole team, so there will be a great support to um, uh, Alonso. As for Massa, well, he knows as much as we know that he has to do something great and something better after a non-positive season. So once again, he's got all of the ingredients uh, necessary for getting top results. I'm sure that the key features of the car and of the tire will encourage him to, uh, let's say, improve improve his driving style, so we are offering him the best conditions to do a great job. And once again, we have um, 
paid special attention to many, many key details. So a new, you know, driving strategy, pit stop management. So we have, you know, reformulated, reshaped the car. We have optimized and enhanced the tires and the motors. So basically everything has been, you know, uh, improved. I'm sure that we will be rewarded because, you know, this is what we want. This is what, you know, everyone here wants. So, uh, well, especially our fans and our supporters want to see us back to a great glory. Um, I'm sure that in the forthcoming seasons, the regulations will have to be interpreted by everyone in a very transparent way. And we trust the Federation. I'm sure the Federation will try and improve all of these new regulations with the right spirit. Once again, I know it's challenging, but I'm sure we will do great things. So even in very cold and you know crazy weather days like today as well, uh, well, I mean we went through many you know difficulties and hardships. I mean I've just celebrated 20 years for me here in Ferrari. So every single day, just like this day here today, is very important. So once again, it's a pleasure for me and an honor to announce, as Stefano Domenicali told you, um, so it's a great news because we have extended our cooperation relationship with Banco Santander. Now, this bank has something in common with us, I mean, the color, red, but they have the same passion, the same key attention, key focus on customers, and this is what makes us very similar. I'm very, very happy about this new, uh, well, continuation of the partnership. I also would like to take advantage of this, uh, uh, you know, presentation today to thank Emilio. Uh, I'm sure I can say that this season will be a red season, so red will be prevailing. I'm sure we will make a big effort, and I'm sure we'll get to the right target. So once again, we have a long way to go. We have plenty of hope and optimism for the future. Okay, here we are back live from uh, Maranello with our new F2012. So we got a video contribution from our CEO. So once again, no more words now. We just have to go back to work. And uh, once again, we want to see the new car being tested. Uh, in the racing track. So once again, thank you so much for staying with us. So uh, we are on the Ferrari.com site. It is the best way possible to stay in touch with Ferrari. So once again, www.ferrari.com. Once again, I would like to thank all of our partners, including Stefano Domenicali. Uh, before leaving, um, don't forget that together with our partners, we also have the Tricolore, which is the Italian three-color flag. You can see it here, green, white, uh, and red so it uh, it is uh, very clearly visible uh, on the front of our car okay then that's it this is our new incredible car everyone here is ready a rendezvous in on the 7th of february in jerez we will try and we will test the car on the racing track in spain once again thank you so much forza ferrari up with ferrari